it happened. Elon Musk finally tested Neuralink on humans. Do you want to have a super brain? The ability to process vast amounts of information at an incredibly fast rate, or to control machines or computers with just the power of thought. While these abilities might seem like something out of a science fiction movie, Neuralink's technology could make them a reality. The company, founded by Elon Musk, is developing a brain machine interface that will allow the human brain to communicate directly with computers. And the exciting news is that they're now testing it on humans. Keep watching to learn more about Neuralink and how it's going to affect us all. Neuralink was founded in 2016 with the goal of developing implantable brain machine interface chips or BMIs to treat neurological disorders and eventually create a symbiotic relationship with artificial intelligence. The chip would be able to interpret neural signals and translate them into commands that a computer could understand. This would allow people to use their thoughts to control machines or computers. The ultimate goal of Neuralink is to create superhumans, people with enhanced cognitive abilities that the average person does not have. This could include the ability to process massive amounts of information at lightning speed, or the ability to control machines or computers solely through the power of thought. To achieve this goal, Neuralink has been testing the viability of this technology on animals. The company has conducted trials on rats and monkeys, and the animals were able to use their brains to control robotic limbs and other devices on these trials. The results of these trials have been promising, and the company is now planning to test its technology on humans. But what does that mean for the future of Neuralink and its plans for human trials? And what about the safety and regulations surrounding these trials? Let's start with the technology that powers Neuralink. BMIs from the company consist of a tiny chip implanted into the brain, as well as a series of electrodes capable of recording the activity of individual neurons. The chip is linked to an external device, allowing the user to control external devices or receive sensory input. You may be wondering, how will this chip interact with the brain? To understand this, it's important to first understand how the brain itself works. The brain is made up of billions of neurons that are linked together by thin fibers called axons. When a person thinks, feels, or moves, it's due to electrical signals sent between neurons. The Neuralink technology can access this network of neurons via a chip implanted in the brain. This chip is equipped with a series of electrodes that can record the electrical activity of individual neurons. This enables the chip to listen to brain activity and interpret it as thoughts or movement. The chip is then linked to an external device such as a computer or a robotic arm. This device can respond to chip signals, allowing the user to control it with their thoughts. Consider this. If the user imagines moving their hand, the connected robotic device will respond by moving as well. This technology has the potential to be extremely powerful but it also has some major drawbacks. The safety of the implantation itself is a major challenge. Any surgical procedure involving the brain carries risks, and implementing a new device into the brain carries an unimaginable amount of risk. Neuralink's technology will need to be thoroughly tested and refined before it can be implanted safely and without causing harm. Another difficulty is the brain's own complexity. The brain is an astonishingly complex organ with billions of neurons interconnected in a vast network. As a result, it is difficult to predict how the technology will interact with the brain and respond to various thoughts and movements. The company reported that its BMIs were successfully implanted in pigs, allowing the animals to control a computer with their thoughts. Recently, Neuralink reported on the successful application of its technology in monkeys allowing them to control a robotic arm with only their thoughts. These trials demonstrated that Neuralink's technology can accurately record and interpret brain activity, paving the way for future human applications. However, many obstacles must still be overcome before this technology can be used safely and effectively in humans. According to recent reports, the US Food and Drug Administration has given Neuralink permission to begin testing its technology on human subjects. This is a significant achievement for the company and a significant step forward in the development of brain-machine interfaces. Now, if the Neuralink has really received FDA approval to begin human testing, 
the company will be able to move forward with its clinical trials. These trials will almost certainly involve a small number of volunteers who will be given the Neuralink device and monitored over time to determine its safety and effectiveness. It is important to note that it is just the first step in a long process and it will likely be several years before the technology is widely available. However, the company's approval to begin human testing is a significant milestone, indicating that Neuralink is making significant progress in the development of the technology. The chip's functionality will be tested after it has been successfully implanted. This will involve running a series of tests to determine whether the chip can accurately interpret neural signals and translate them into commands that a computer can understand. The company will also investigate whether the chip can improve cognitive abilities such as memory and problem-solving abilities. Of course, there are risks to consider with any new technology. The surgery required to implant the chip inside the skull poses great risk, and in addition to safety concerns, there's also regulatory hurdles to overcome. BMIs are relatively new and untested technology in humans. There are currently no established regulations governing their use. Neuralink will need to collaborate closely with regulatory bodies to ensure that any human trials conducted are safe and ethical. Despite these difficulties, the potential benefit of Neuralink technology is broad. BMIs have the potential to revolutionize the treatment of a wide range of neurological disorders, from Parkinson's disease to spinal cord injuries, if they are successful. They may also aid in the restoration of lost sensory function, such as the ability to see or hear. It has the potential to be extremely beneficial to humanity. People who are disabled or paralyzed may be able to use the technology to regain control of their limbs or other body parts. Furthermore, superhuman enhanced cognitive abilities may lead to significant advances in fields such as medicine, technology, and science. However, the chip's potential benefits go beyond medical application. They could be used to improve our cognitive abilities in the future, allowing us to process information faster and even improve our memory. This could have far-reaching consequences for education, work, and daily life. However, this chip will have an impact on society as a whole. If some people are able to improve their cognitive abilities with chips, there may be a divide between those who can have access to the technology and those who do not. The general public's main concern about Neuralink is the possibility of hackers accessing the brain-machine interface and causing harm to the user or using it to control individuals against their will. Hackers could attempt to hack a brain-machine interface in a variety of ways. They could attempt to intercept the communication signal between the implanted device and the external computer, allowing them to control the device or access the user's brain activity. Another possible attack plot is the external computer used to control the implanted device. If a hacker gains access to this computer, they may be able to manipulate it or steal sensitive information. Overall, the possibility of brain-machine interface hacking is a serious concern that must be carefully considered and addressed. While the benefits of this technology are exciting, it is critical to carefully consider and address the potential risks before moving forward with this technology. So, what do you think? Are you excited about the potential of brain-machine interfaces and Neuralink technology? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more updates on this and other cutting edge technologies. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.